how to verify WordPress site with Google Webmaster Tools in 2016. Hello and welcome. I've created a couple of video sessions for you to verify your WordPress site with Google Webmaster Tools. Now this particular video session with this video ID is for self-hosted WordPress sites. And this particular one is for WordPress.com hosted websites. Now the reason I've created two different videos is because if your WordPress site is hosted at WordPress.com then you require different methods for verification. In fact you only have one option to be honest with you and you have no other option to utilize through Google Webmaster Tools if your WordPress site is WordPress.com hosted. Now because you want to take advantage of Google Webmaster Tools and grow your WordPress site, at this moment, if your WordPress site is hosted at WordPress.com, you should think long-term implications of that. Furthermore, this particular video session will actually explain more in detail as to the difference between self-hosted WordPress site and WordPress.com hosted WordPress site. Because, you know, even if you're having a private domain, you're always mapping. That means your WordPress site hosted on WordPress.com, it's always limited. And it's never smart to have it here. Instead, I encourage you to watch this whole video uh, WordPress training course and then grow your own WordPress site. Because a year later, you may require to make more changes to your WordPress site as in customize it the way you want or add new features and with WordPress.com hosted sites you'll always be limited so let's go and quickly verify our WordPress site that is self-hosted I'll show you the easiest methods because this video actually showed you many different options so let's dive into it once you add your property property is your website so that means you grab the domain name that you operate and you place it in there. Now at this stage keep in mind you actually have to take advantage of two different properties that means you should be adding your domain with www version and without the www version as well so that you can set preferred domain. So let's go and look at this one here. So that means you add a property. That's what your Google Webmaster Tools, uh, your word verified site, is named. It's a property. Right? It's not a house property, but it's just a website property. With Google Analytics, it's the same thing as well. So when you think of a property, just think of a single entity that you're verifying. In our example, it's your domain, right? And then you simply press continue. At that moment, let's try to add the one that I've already added in here. Let's see what happens. Because it's smart to always test and see what happens. right? In this example, that's already added. So I'm not going to be able to re-verify it. Okay? So now this is added as a property. Next step for verification is we simply press on the property. And here we have verification details. Let's press on that. And we'll see a screen giving us many different options here. Yeah. In this example, it's saying you are currently verified owner of this domain. Verified using these methods. If I press on details, it's going to say, okay, you're using meta tag verification. Let's now change it to something else if we want. The easiest way to add and verify your WordPress site that is self-hosted is actually using the HTML tag that means meta tag let's copy that let's dive into our dashboard let's go to our dashboard and press on appearance and press on editor now many different WordPress site owners will be watching this video and the way WordPress is set up is sometimes some themes may actually not give you option for this editor in fact, if you're using WordPress.com hosted site, that is the only way for you to verify your site. Whereby, if you're self-hosting, then looking at this, if you have the editor, that's great. 
But what if you don't have it? Then you need to log into your web hosting manager, press on file, press on file manager, and browse into your themes folder. And that is located under public underscore HTML WP content folder. Within that it is themes and your current theme that you're using. Yeah, if you're using parent child theme, then browse into child theme to take a look at a file called header.php. If you can't see it, then browse into the parent theme that you're using. Surely it will be named different. Yeah. One way or another to verify using meta tag options. And if your theme does not give you editor option, then finding header.php file, press on edit, as in right click, edit. Then what you need to do is find the head portion. And if you simply place it just underneath it and save changes, now you can go back and verify your WordPress site. Yeah, this is the easiest method. But you can also press on HTML file upload. Let's press on I'm the robot here. Although I'm logged in because I'm moving a little bit fast, it's complaining. So download the HTML verification file, which is a unique file generated for the web property that you've added to your Google Webmaster Tools, which is your website. So now we can show this in folder, take a look. So once you download this unique file, you can verify using HTML file upload. Let's actually try that as well while we're here. Let's press on public underscore HTML while we are on our web server. And here it is just a matter of uploading that unique file. All you need to do is choose the file that is within your local computer now. In my example it was this. Let me open the file. Now that is uploaded, I can re-verify that by refreshing this public underscore HTML folder. And then I uploaded that unique file. Now I can go back and verify using HTML file upload. But what if you have Google Analytics account? If that is the case, what we need to do, yes, Tracking code should be placed in the head portion, which in our example was here. So if you're using Google Analytics, you can actually verify your WordPress site using your Google Analytics tracking code as well. Now, if your WordPress dashboard appearance, once you press on editor, if there is an option for editor, that allows you to find that header.php file through your dashboard, then you can actually make the same modification as in meta tag details can be added straight in here as well. Because it's the same file you're editing. While well, here let me show you different methods. Google Tag Manager, if you're utilizing Google Tag Manager, you may want to utilize that option. Let's choose Domain Name Provider. Here you'll have many different preset default web hosting providers. If yours is not in here, then it is only smart to utilize different options to simplify things for you. But let's imagine that you're using, let's say, GoDaddy should be in there as an example. I'm using Crazy Domains. Let me press on that to see what options I'm having here. It says add text records below DNS configuration of this. Yeah, this is the last method that you should utilize. I'll give you a hint as to if you end up not being able to verify your WordPress site using all the other methods and use this as a last resort, then log into your web hosting account, press on domains, you will have simple DNS zone editor or advanced DNS zone editor. Let's say it's saying here add record. So it's telling us to add these details. So let's just copy this and let's 
go and add txt record ttl should be perhaps this one here or even lower name it's saying okay your domain name with a period symbol at the end and you can add record so i'm just showing you all the possible scenarios for you to add your wordpress site and verify it depending on the setup that you have okay i'll just delete this because i like to utilize the file upload method or meta tag verification method now at this stage keep in mind let's select that let's verify it because that's already added within the header.php file for wordpress sites right let's press on search console now to take advantage of advanced features such as preferred domain settings I've just verified this WordPress site, right? But as you can see, I've also verified the same website without www. So I encourage you to do that as well. The reason being, once you verify both different versions, then you can press on site settings and then select preferred domain. Because if you don't verify both different versions as in www and non www, then this option won't be available to you but keep in mind whichever method you utilize to verify whichever version and it is just a matter of clicking let's go back i'll show you that as well so that you actually see it. so we add the property so whatever the domain that you have then you verify the same domain without the dub 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 let's press on that now that's already verified okay so now as you can see I have no clicks here because I'm just verifying both different versions to be able to set the preferred domain if I didn't need that then I would just verify only one version which is this one now I can go into this and forget about the other version at the end of the day, verifying your WordPress site will depend on the setup that you have on your web hosting. And I'm just showing you all the possible scenarios and except Tag Manager. If you're utilizing Tag Manager as verification, then perhaps you follow through the help section for the Tag Manager. But the easiest way is Meta Tag, Details, or File Upload. I thank you very much for learning with me. Keep in mind, I have WordPress Essentials training course that will teach you all the different features in the dashboard. And I hope that you utilize these methods to verify your WordPress site. Keep in mind, once again, if your WordPress site is WordPress.com hosted, then you have to follow this video session. Because all the methods that I've just shared with you in this video session won't work for WordPress.com hosted WordPress site. I'm wishing your WordPress site great success on internet. Keep in mind, I have WordPress courses as well as WordPress plugins that you may find useful. I'll talk with you in the next video session.